Hey guys, how's everyone doing? It's Ted again from Tap and Sack. I hope you're ready for some more magic, because today we'll be playing Arena in the Explorer format. So before we get into that, I hope you will check out our website, tapandsack.com, where you'll find more articles, or you can also subscribe to our channel. And if you do, you can have a chance to win a pack of Crimson Vow set boosters. They should be given free to anyone in the world. So do leave a comment and check back again one week later. Alright, so let's go into our new deck for today. I found a Humans Tribal deck, which looks interesting. And since I had most of the cards, I thought I'd give it a shot today for Explorer. So Explorer is a format that has many more uh, eligible sets. So not just the few standard sets, but going back even further to uh, sets like Hour of Devastation and... Dominaria, what else? We have Thalia, which was reprinted recently in Standard. We have Thalia's Lieutenant from Jumpstart. So basically, Explorer uh, covers almost every card on the Arena system. So our deck today is a Green White Explorer. Um, green and today, our deck is Green White Humans. So we have majority of white humans, actually, very few green cards. But we'll go through the deck. So we have lots of 1 drops, we have Dawnless Bodyguard as a human knight that can give another creature indestructible. Giant Killer is a very good uh, 2 for 1, you can destroy a big creature or you can use its uh, activated ability as a creature to tap another target creature. Traban Tra Tra Inspector uh, gives you a clue token which can be helpful in the late game to draw a card. And Luminar Aspirin is a very strong human card, which is uh, very key to our aggro strategy, strategy. So at the beginning of combat, we add a plus one plus one counter to target creature we control. So it grows very fast, or it can make another creature grow. Thalia herself is a legendary creature, so only one on the board at a time. But it makes non-creature spells cost one more, so this will be key to countering any board wipes or spell slinger decks that cast lots of instants or sorceries. Thalia's Lieutenant puts a plus one plus one counter on each other human you control when it enters the battlefield. So you can give an anthem effect to all your humans. So hopefully we'll get some of the small ones out first before calling, casting the Lieutenant. Two copies of Heroic Intervention. This is normally a sideboard card but because we're playing best of one, I thought it would be good to put two in the deck. It would be great against board wipes or are preventing targeted removal as it gives all your creatures hexproof and indestructible. So going to our three mana casting, uh, so going to our three mana costing cards, we have two copies of Banishing Light, just as a simple enchantment removal for anything that the opponent casts. Brutal Katar can also remove an opponent's creatures, but it's also vulnerable if it gets removed. Spellbinder can delay an opponent's. Um, spells, big spells, by making them cost 2 more, so it's only a delaying tactic, and but it's a good uh, 3 mana for 3-1 flying. Extraction Specialist, uh, the original deck list had 2 of these, but I only have 1 in my collection, so we just put in 1. Basically, re it returns a, a smaller creature to the battlefield, but it can't attack or block unless a Specialist is dead. So, uh, we use this to bring back other creatures and then just attack the Specialist. Redan, another single copy of Redan, is not a human but will make any snow decks um, slower and also make non-creature spells with mana value 4 or more cost 2 more to cast. So another kind of delaying tactic similar to spell, Spellbinder. Adeline is a great human aggressive creature. It is a 3 mana for a star 4. And star, the power is equal to the number of creatures you control. So since we have lots of creatures to cast, this could easily be a 3 or 4 by the time it comes in. And when you attack, uh, you create a 1-1 one, one human creature token that's also tap and attacking. So that's an additional plus 1 power to Adeline. So this will be one of our trump cards and hopefully it stays on the battlefield. And lastly, at 4 mana, we have 3 copies of Collected Company. This is a very a popular card because it's an instant and you can cast it at the opponent's end step and basically you can get up to two creature cards onto the battlefield for free so since all of our creatures are three or less we should be able to hit at least one right 
So our lens, standard green white uh, package. We we have some creature lens, which is uh, layer of the Hydra, but we don't have the white uh, dragon. Uh, we do have two copies of Buseju in case of annoying artifacts or enchantments, and we do have Aiganjo to uh, deal with any attacking or blocking creatures. All right, so let's get into the game. <coughs> Tilton. Ooh, okay. We've got three planes. We've got a one drop, a two drop, and a three drop. But we don't have the forest for our green spells. But I think uh, it's still good to keep. Because we're on curve, meaning we can cast one spell each turn. Uh, opponents on Yorian, which means likely a control kind of deck. So we really need that green source to uh, be able to cast heroic intervention. And then we might have a chance. I'm guessing opponent will maybe foretell a uh, Doomscar maybe. Nothing. Okay. So it could be a counter spell. And if that's the case, I don't think I want to cast Dahlia. But we can maybe sacrifice one of the Aspirants. Yeah. Sensor, which is counter target spell, unless I pay one. Which I didn't have. Ooh, Narset. It's a very strong um, blue white control card, Planeswalker. So we got minus two to put a spell and also doesn't let us draw cards, more than one card each turn. So that's not too problematic for us because we're not drawing that many cards but he has lots of removal let's take a look at the hand maybe ooh settle the wreckage and sharp typhoon I think settle the wreckage we have to go And let's just hit our set for one. This is overwhelming. So if he minus two again, uh, our set will be gone, right? Because there's no way to add loyalty counters. Okay. So he didn't activate our set, but he has a copy of March of the Otherworldly Light, which can. Um, basically, counter my Elite Spellbinder or remove it from the game. So, I think I want to cast Thalia to make all non creature spells one more, but it will affect our hero intervention as well. So, kind of risky actually. So, maybe cast Aspirant. Put it on the inspector. And then let's swing in for five. Let's see, cycle shark typhoon. So we can pretty much get rid of my uh, Spellbinder. So he really wants to protect Narset. Um, 
All right, then I will just hero intervention then because it's not gonna intervention does not save me from satellite wreckage. So now he won't block with the shock, but it's okay. My mind needs a rest. gonna cast Thalia and hopefully that will slow him down in terms of non-creature spells could have one seven mana for settle the wreckage. So maybe I'll just cast Edeling. And then I'll just swing in with Spellbinder. Really worried about any kind of board wipe. Um, Settle wreckage is one. But what we can do is to just attack with one creature so that if he settles, then we won't have all our creatures exiled. So maybe we'll go Traban. Creates a 1 1 human. That's a good delaying tactic actually because he can just take um, a little bit of damage here, not that much. So if he's going to create a 1-1, one, one, then maybe I should send in more creatures, more 1-1s. One, Alright, same tactic. Pass. I don't want to commit too much to the board because you never know what they might have in terms of a board wipe. And even though I have heroic intervention to give my permanence indestructible, I don't really... There could be other ways to get, get around that, such as countering it. Portable hole. Save Talia. All right, let's just let it go. Hmm. Okay, more lands. Sorry about the knock. 
thing. Alright. Let's try a different tactic. And let's just go with more creatures. Creating the one one. All right, let's place a land in the turn. Very hero of Dominaria. I know my responsibility. Draw a card, okay. Hurry. Okay, let's uh Give it a shot, and maybe we can cast Thalia's Lieutenant. Okay, yep, opponent is... I think didn't have any other options. He had 5 mana left, and wouldn't be able to cast Settle the Wreckage, but maybe he had another one, I don't know. So probably I would have cast Lieutenant, give a plus one plus one counter on each of my humans, and then swing in with maybe Inspector and then a few other humans. Yeah. Exhort is our next opponent. Okay, we're going first. We have two lands, white and green. We do have a nice curve with a one cost, two cost, Stalia, and three cost, Adeline. So we really need to hit some lands. Alright, let's go with planes and cast the inspector. So I'll leave the bodyguard for later because so that I can choose another creature to protect. Ooh, Lanawar Elves. Is this a mono green deck? In that case, I might be better casting Aspirant. Red green wolves. Top question. I haven't seen that in quite a while. Oh. Well, if we had cast Dahlia, he wouldn't have been able to cast that, unfortunately. So. I might just go with Adeline. Create some one ones and then I'm just gonna block with the collector. Ooh, four mana up, which means could be the collector company. In this case, I want to cast Thalia, maybe. Yep, collect the company. Let's see what he gets. Ooh, full take for all the energies. And what other, can you do with energy? When it attacks, you can pay energy. If you do, it gets plus one, plus one, and trample. Alright, I'm gonna cast my bodyguard, protect. Adrian. Okay, so 
Hopefully no more collected companies, we'll need two more lands to cast our own, unfortunately. Luckily Adeline is vigilant, so we can kind of hold it as a blocker. Bone Crusher Giant is going to pump both collectors because it's power 4, you know, it has higher power than the collectors. So pretty scary. This is kind of the battle of the battle of the creatures. So I still can't cast the Velk Mirror Protector's Shield. It would be great though to reduce one damage each time. Or I could just cast Redan as a flyer. A flyer might be good right now. Alright, let's give some pressure. We lost our bodyguard, unfortunately. But got rid of one of the bone crusher giants. Ooh, spell breakers. Four four. Trample. Hmm. So maybe I'll get back the specialist. Um bring back the bodyguard. And then I can swing in with Adeline and Redan. Spellbreaker. Ooh, nice. So we got a Spellbinder. Um, this time... I'm just gonna attack with Redan. And then let's see what he has in his hand. Ooh, Ember Cleave. We gotta get rid of that, I guess. Well, if he attacks with 6, he can still cast Ember Cleave. But I don't think it's going to be enough. So let's see. This. So is that enough? Five, eight. 10, 18, 19 damage, so I can't do that. Hmm, so three damage. 3 damage, 1 damage, 1 damage, 5 damage, 1 damage, 6 damage, plus a total of 10, 16 damage. Okay. Okay. 
equip tree. Oh, so I can... Yeah, I can win, I think, with Lieutenant. Is it a human? Let's see. It is a human. Hooray. Whew, we just made it. Because I think next turn we will be dead. Even if we cast Collected Company for 4 to get 2 blockers. Mm, with Embercleave is quite a problem and he has trample on all his, uh, almost all his creatures. So, well, we really just won by the top decking the Lieutenant. That was crazy. I really thought that we had won a uh, long time ago with Redan. But Embercleave really... Even though it costs two more, but, but attacking with six creatures makes the Ember Cleave um, pretty much costing only two mana, or was it four mana? Yep, it will only cost two mana. So that was really a close win. Well, I hope I don't get another Yorin. Okay, so I think that's it for today. We should end on a high. We play, played against Yorian, managed to get a win by overwhelming the opponent, and then we went on a, a creature versus creature battle against Gruul. So we almost got beaten there. Um, we lucked out by top decking the Thalith Lieutenant, which added plus one plus one counter on our Spellbinder for the last four damage. So this has been an improvement a little bit over last week's Explorer uh, game. The Explorer is a really high powered uh, format and not recommended for beginners, but uh, if you have lots of cards from the previous sets, it's going to be good to build some Explorer decks because you might be bored with standard. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the games. Do remember to like and comment and even subscribe to us if you want to see more videos in the future. So we not only have arena gameplay, but we also have um, videos and articles on uh, strategy and other important things in Magic. So yeah, hope you will join us and do check out our other videos as well. And if nothing else, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.